Working on the weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Aviola and for today's video we have a product review. So I'm going to be testing out the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. Here it is right here. I just picked this up from Sephora this morning. I also got the Fenty Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it. When I did go to Sephora, they told me that this works well with the moisturizer. Like they're supposed to be a good combo together. So I decided to get the both of them. So I'm really excited to be testing this out. I'm gonna open the package up. So I haven't even opened it yet and looked inside. So here is the packaging. I really love how simple it is. Fenty always does it for me when it comes to packaging. So for reference, I do have dry skin and I am in the shade 390 in the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. Um, I do use matte foundations, but I just really like to keep it hydrating because my skin is already dry and I don't want it to look too dry. So sometimes I do use matte foundations if I'm just in the mood, but my skin is dry. So the Tension Moisturizer was $29.50. It is an instant blurring skin tint, buildable light to medium long wear coverage with quick blur complex for hydrating diffuse effect. We need that because my skin is dry. Smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare, applies well with fingers or brush, humidity, sweat, and transfer resistant formula. So I'm gonna start off first using the Hydrovisor. I don't have anything from Fenty Skin, so this is the first product that I have. I know that it has made some people break out, so we're gonna see. It does have a slight fragrance to it. I remember a lot of people were talking about that when it first came out. It's not a lot. It's it's not super strong, but it is definitely there. So we're gonna put this on. And I especially need this on my forehead because my forehead is the driest of my face, I feel like. But so far, I really like how this feels on my skin. It reminds me a lot of the hydrating primer that I have. I really like this moisturizer. It feels really good on my skin. Definitely going to be using that more. So now for the skin tint. It says to apply with fingers or you can use a sponge or a brush. I'm going to do it with my fingers and then try and blend it out with my sponge and see how that works. They said to use two to three drops. Um, this is so interesting. I've never put on tinted moisturizer and I feel like using my hands is a little weird. But we're going to go ahead and go for it. So here is one side of my face with the tinted moisturizer on and this is the other side with nothing on. It definitely is blurring. I can see that effect already. So I'm gonna put on one more pump and then I'm gonna try using a sponge on this side. Here is the tinted moisturizer on my entire face. I think that it looks really good. It's definitely giving me like a my skin but better type of vibe, like a no makeup makeup look. It just has a really nice blurring effect. You can still see some of my dark spots peeking through, but it is light to medium coverage, so I don't expect it to be like 100% blurring. But I really like how it looks. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for the summertime. So now I'm gonna put on my concealer and do the rest of my face. I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way in Butterscotch. I'm only going to use a little bit because I want this to be kind of natural. So now that we're done with concealer, I'm going to go in with my Air Sun Powder and I'm going to set my face. So 
for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorites, the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie Sun Sucker Bronzer. So I have on my lashes and now I'm gonna put on my Morphe Papa Peach Blush. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Kilowa Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey, but I'm not gonna highlight my face. I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone and my inner corner because I wanted to keep it very like no makeup, makeup ish, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that. So this is the final makeup look. The tinted moisturizer feels super lightweight. Like it honestly feels like I'm not even wearing makeup. Like it feels super light on my skin. So I really, really love that. For the future, I'm probably not gonna put it on with my fingers just because for me personally, it was just a little too messy. I know with tinted moisturizer, you kinda are supposed to use your fingers, but for me, I'm just gonna stick with just using one finger to apply it and then using my sponge to get the rest of the job done. But the fingers thing was a little too messy for me. I really like the moisturizer. My skin feels really good. You guys know I'm a dry skin girl, so I feel like this is gonna be really great for me. The scent on this is really faint, so it's not too much. And I feel like it actually really does pair good together with these two. So I feel really good with this makeup look. It looks super natural and pretty. The scent of moisturizer is definitely gonna be perfect for vacation. You know, when you go on vacation, you don't wanna feel like you have on too much heavy makeup with vacation it's really lashes lip gloss and like that's it probably concealer maybe this will be really good if you want to have on makeup during your vacation but don't want to put on full coverage foundation and just have everything just feel really heavy this really does feel really light and i really love it i'm gonna be using it more in the future i feel like it's perfect for the season that we're getting into so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always and i'll see you guys in my next video bye